as well. Um, since the last time you guys toured in the States, you've relocated to Hoboken, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. right? First of all, of all places, Hoboken. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Why, why, why did you choose to come live in the States and why Hoboken? So, New York is pretty expensive to live and <laughs> Hoboken is much cheaper. We really love staying in New York, but uh, we feel sometimes it's too much. So. Yeah. Maybe Hoboken. we should explain that, that Hoboken is like, you know, 10 minutes through the tunnel. 10 minutes, right. Yeah. And the Past train. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, lots of VIP people now. Wait, was it a, a culture shock to come over and live in the States? Yeah, I was like, uh, oh my god, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was like the hardest thing to, hardest to adjust thing? to? Speaking English. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you, you don't have any problem with it. You speak right fluent. now, like uh, we have lots of friends, like uh, there's party hanging around, and uh, we have like an uh, English teacher, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I was taking English lesson every day, so we got better and better. It's hard first time, you know. I couldn't say, say, I couldn't say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, we couldn't buy a cigarette, you know. Oh, really? Well, you guys are doing okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell me, what is the metal scene like in Japan? Is it, uh, I said, I've never metal been there, scene? so I have no idea. That's like, uh, there are very many bands in there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <coughs> like, as far as this kind of music, kids really into it. And, uh, this like uh, three years, four years after success of uh, Bon Jovi, White Snake, Guns N' Roses, whoever, then uh, the market is getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Mm -hmm. You guys have uh, gone through a little uh, change. Uh, no more makeup mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since, uh, since this new album. Is there? Have you taken a new musical direction as well? No, basically it's same. Like we always just like uh, create our music, and uh, we love doing this. Yeah, just play what we want all the time. Mm -hmm. like, uh, don't be not so much image, just be myself. That's mm -hmm. important thing. Yeah. Like, but we'll be wearing no? the no, makeup yeah. for like uh, six years. So yeah. and the last year we decided no more sick of it. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. No more hustle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 nice. We we'll talk more, hang out with us for a little bit longer if you All want. Right, sure. We got a video for you right now. Fate's warning, this is through different eyes. The ball is back with uh, myself, Adam Curry, with Taro and Masaki from EZO, and uh, your uh, new album is uh, Fire Fire, right. Right. which is kind of ironic, because from what I hear, and we've been reporting these stories, you guys have had uh, a couple of close encounters with fire. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, mm -hmm. the tour bus. Yeah. Tell me, tell me this story. What exactly happened? It was uh, probably two months ago, uh, when we played in Philly, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and uh, when we went back home uh, in the middle of the highway, the the two of us got fire. And, uh, like the uh, engine starts smelling with yeah. no fire. What's happening? Like yeah. that. Yeah, and that's what I would say too. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> smoke came out, and yeah. then we, we get out the bus, like, and then we found like uh, smoke all around the place. You know. Oh, like uh, black smoke mm -hmm. all oh, over man. the bus. So yeah. was the bus destroyed? Or and uh, we, put, we, we start pushing the like, fire ex extinguisher, yeah. Yeah. and I didn't walk like uh, this big, so. And uh, <laughs> yeah. we jumped out, and uh, yeah. after that, for two hours, we were watching like this. Yeah, whole fire, big, big fire, like uh, San Francisco or something. Really? Happened. Wow. Yeah. Now, and uh, something similar happened in uh, San, San Jose, I believe? Yeah, uh, where we right. played there. Uh, we were staying in a like, kind of motel, right? In the one house very close to the motel. Uh -huh. Got the fire, like a huge house, just found out. <laughs> You guys like accident prone? Do I smell smoke in here? Or is that just my <laughs> imagination. Uh, how about uh, in your video? Any any bad things happen with fire when? Uh, mm, no, fortunately. You know, how, how did the video shoot go? Because we're about to roll it, by the way. Yeah, so, uh, we shot this one in the New York Palladium mm -hmm. disco. Sure. And uh, we wanted to get like a basic performance video this time, and uh, we really liked this. One. Okay. Yeah, make it simple. Mm -hmm. yeah. And here it comes. We oh, continue through the night. We got EZO with us this evening. And I was wondering, how do you go about writing lyrics? Do you write them in Japanese first and then translate them into English? Or because I don't know, because you mm -hmm. know, I come from a different country, and it, you mm -hmm. know, I had to for a while I had to translate things from Dutch into English. How does it work for you? So I think in English right now. Yeah. Because of uh, I live here three years, and then I can think in English. I dream in English. I like uh, talking in the sleep mm -hmm. you know, in English. Now, how, now so, wait a minute, uh, how do you know you, t you talk English in your sleep? Who told you that? <laughs> My girlfriend. Okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Taro told me, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. I speak a lot in, in my sleep, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, loud. Like, uh, so, from, 
<laughs> so for my lyrics, like uh, I have friends. His name is Jody Gray, mm -hmm. and uh, he's really good friend of mine. And uh, we sit down together a couple times, like a couple, like a whole day long. We eat lunch, like a spicy food or Indian food or like a mm -hmm. Chinese food, and then we write down on the paper, think, talk about it. Right. And then, like, uh, make it like a uh, more natural English, you know. Mm -hmm. Originally, like, uh, every lyrics came from, like, uh, from me or mm -hmm. from Taro or from band, think about it, and then trans translating right. like, more proper lyrics, you know. Right. Now, um, <coughs> you also had some help on the album from uh, from a couple of well-known guys. Right. Mm -hmm. I see where you have uh, Chris Gates, David Roach from Junkyard. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how, how'd you do that? On the Giffen record. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that uh, a, mm -hmm. a label thing that... Uh, uh, the the Giffen, they are our guy, uh, Mio Kovic. He's a great guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he brought like, uh, two guys from Junkyard to New York. Yeah. And uh, we kind of jammed in the back of the studio. And, mm -hmm. uh, we wrote the two songs with them. and uh, it was a great experience because they are basically from like a Texas, South Texas, and uh, they got like a side, certain influence from uh, blues. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we, yeah. we don't have anything like that, so yeah. it was very really interesting. But together, it does make an interesting combination. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, before I let you guys go, um, tour plans. What's in the works for Easy Out? Uh, the 20th, 24th, we played in uh, New Jersey, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna play uh, in North Carolina, and after that we go to uh, Los Angeles, I mean, yeah. West Coast, Texas again. Everywhere, yeah. all over the yeah. country. You ever, uh, how often do you get back uh, home to Japan? We haven't went back for about two years, two years yeah. and a half. Mm -hmm. We miss our families, friends, but uh, <coughs> we, we love living in here. So. Well, I'll tell you what, since the Headbangers Ball is shown in Japan, why don't you guys uh, say something to the folks about home? And you can do it in Japanese. All right. Just to keep it clean. <laughs> so, we are Izio, and uh, we are in uh, Hoboken now, and uh, we are playing in the United States for probably until the end of next, this year. Then. Uh, Next year we're gonna go back. Alright, now say, say hi to your mom. Just and say uh, something in Japanese. I just got it here. Um <laughs> I believe it. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot for dropping by tonight. All right. no Good to see you. Good luck. Come by when uh, you know when, when you got some, some more you. to tell us about. Thank you. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot. And we're gonna leave you right now with Queens. Right? Here's Bacon the Silence. It is a debut.